when you are in the middle of the storms of life and life becomes so hard and bearable and frustrating, you feel like giving up. Everyone and everything around you are all working against you. You begin to wonder if truly, if God is with you. Whether His promises to cover and lift you up is still valid, whether you are still a part of His plan. I want to remind you of the assurance of His promises, of His love. God is not a man that goes back on His promises. For whatever you are passing through right now, know that it is a phase and it will pass. You are going to come up victorious and strong. Remember, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. God's hands are going to cover and lift you up. Keep trusting Him. He would not let you down. Most times, because of the problems you are facing, you do not seem to be able to feel the presence of God. You begin to think of the problems so much, and you make the problems lord over you. You might begin to wonder how you let your troubles lord over you. Whenever you think of a particular challenge too much and you become scared, you begin to doubt the supremacy of God over everything. The devil uses it as an opportunity to continue to feed you lies that God is not helping you, and by so doing, make them lord over you. Remember, the word of God says in Luke chapter 1 verse 37, For with God, nothing is ever impossible, and no word from God shall be without power or impossible of fulfillment. There is nothing impossible for God to do. God is bigger than all your problems, bigger than everything, bigger than every mountain you cannot face. And that, my dear, is what God is about to do for you. He is going to wipe your tears away and lift you up. God wants you to remember today that you are not alone. He is with you in this boat and that is why he gave his words in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not look around you in terror and be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and harden you to difficulties. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will hold you up and retain you with my right hand of rightness and justice. He is not saying that difficulties would not come, but that he would hold you and strengthen you. He would hold you with his right hand of righteousness, and nothing would have the power to overcome you. We think we can go on with our strength. Your strength will always fail you, but the strength of God will sustain you to the very end. In the face of every challenge and problem that you face, always look on to God and He will give you strength. There are also times you face attack from the enemies. The hands of God are going to cover you and shield you from every attack of the enemy. The word of God assures you of your safety. If you are in Christ Jesus, and it says in Psalm chapter 91 verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where do you run to whenever you face attacks from the enemy? Most people would be proclaiming with their lips that they are under the shadow of the Almighty. But in the real sense, they are looking for help from other sources and still expect God to save them. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. It says, Choose this day who you will serve. The refuge of God's right hand is for those who dwell and abide under the shadow of God. Psalm chapter 91 verse 4 says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. The hand of God will be your shield, but ever the enemy sent would never reach you because you trust in the name of the Lord. A thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. The enemy can only try, but it can never come to pass. With your eyes will you behold the downfall of the wicked and those who rise up against you, because you have chosen to make the Lord's presence as your dwelling place whenever you face attacks. It is just like a child when he wants to feel safe. He runs to the hands of an adult that he trusts. In the same way, we as children of God run to him whenever we need comfort and safety. And like a fortress or an impenetrable shield, God absorbs the blows life gives us and prevents us from being overwhelmed. 
God's right hand will cover and lift you up whenever you feel threatened by the powers of evil doers. God is assuring you that He would intervene. God's hand is ready to lift you up. During these times, it can be difficult not to worry, but God is saying, trust Him. Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 26 says, Therefore I tell you, stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried about your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, or about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life greater than food, and the body than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father keeps feeding them. Are you not worth much more than they? Jesus is not saying that you are not significant or that your needs are not important. He is saying if He can provide for birds and every creature on the planet, how much more you who is worth more than birds? You are a replica of God's image, and He cares and knows every detail about you. If He knows the numbers of hairs on your head and is mindful about you, why then do you worry? God is going to supply your needs. We worry at times because we doubt God. We say we trust Him, but we do not really believe He would give us our heart's desires. As you continue in your journey of life, problems, challenges, and needs will not stop. You must face these and not run from them. But the good thing is that God is going to be with you through it all, and with His hands will He cover and lift you up whenever you fall, whenever you feel like giving up. He will be present to give you strength. You need not be scared for we are already overcomers and we have victory on our side. Whenever you feel overwhelmed by the challenges that come your way, all you need to do is look up to the heavens from where your help comes and pray to your Father. Jesus still speaking in John chapter 14 verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. All you have to do is believe and God with His hands will cover and lift you up.